Most countries tend to be known by a one word name, like France, China, India, you guys know the drill. But even countries like these have official longer names, like Germany's full name being the Federal Republic of Germany. Yet even a name like this contains just one proper noun. Of course, this is far from the case of a place like Bosnia and Herzegovina, which despite clearly being two separate names, is actually one nation. How is it we have one country with two names? So I guess we have a few questions to unwrap here. Where do the names Bosnia and Herzegovina come from and why does the country have both these names? The border of what's the Bosnia part of the country and what's the Herzegovina part isn't clearly defined. Bosnia covers a huge amount of the country with primarily the southern tip of the nation being the Herzegovina area of the country. Unofficially the division is that Herzegovina is everything south of the Ivan Planina mountain. So where does the name Bosnia come from? The first known mention of the name comes from the mid 10th century in a handbook written by Byzantine Emperor for Constantine the seventh in which he described the small land of Bosnia. Bosnia is believed to come from a hydronym, which is a fantastic word, meaning the name of a body of water, the body of water in this case being the Bosna River. So how did the river get its name? It's thought the name could go as far back as the Proto-Indo-European language root Bos or Bo, meaning the running water. Herzegovina's name, however, seems to have origins in the German word for Duke, Herzog, which comes from the old Serbian Herzog. It comes from this word as the land of Herzegovina was originally a duchy, a land belonging to a duchess or duke, the duke in this case being the Grand Duke of Bosnia, Stepan Vuskik Kozacka, who took the title of Herzog of Hum and the Coast. Hum, which was formerly known as Zaklumia, was originally a principality that lay in modern-day Herzegovina and Croatia. The land became known as the Herzogsland, and then the name we know it as today, Herzegovina. By the 15th century, Bosnia and Herzegovina were ruled by the Ottoman Empire, however eventually becoming part of Yugoslavia as the Socialist Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina. But in the breakup and dissolution of Yugoslavia, the Republic gained independence in 1992, becoming the one country with two historic names we know it as today. At first, the name slash names do seem a tad odd. On the whole, we are used to seeing a country gain a new name when it's formed from two smaller land areas, such as with Tanzania, a name coming from the previous nations of Tanganyika and Zanzibar, which make up the modern day African country. Yet with Bosnia and Herzegovina, we have a nation that kept both names, as opposed to merging them to something like Bosgovina. And of course, it's not the only country to be named like this. We have Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Sao Tome and Principe, and of course, Trinidad and Tobago. And to an extent, we have countries that are named after collective locations, such as the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, United Arab Emirates, and of course, United States of America. Luckily, that last one is named of America. Otherwise, the nation would be called the United States of Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, at Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire. Thank you to all my patrons as always. $2 a month isn't a huge amount of money, but when you pledge that tiny amount to help support the channel, your name will be with the rest of the awesome people here, helping support Name Explain in truly the best way possible.